Hey, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is BSL 17 Hasso League quarterfinals between Biax. We're starting the bottom left hand corner as the hot pink Protoss going up against ranged, <laughs> excuse me, upper left hand corner as the uh, peach Protoss. And I'm going to cast as long as my voice holds up here. <clears throat> I'm mostly recovered from a little bit of a cough, but I've been delaying a lot of the. It's frustrating. I feel like I keep having setbacks either through illness or other going ons. With the uh, issues with uh, a, a, uh, oftentimes when I'm casting these days, I'm on point also to pick up my daughter. There's been emergencies and other crazy things going on in the background. So I feel like my entire schedule for the, all of 2024 up to this stage has been somewhat in shambles, and I'm waiting for things to pan out where they get a little bit more steady again. But in the meantime, we try to continue casting. This is on that map, aka Polypoid. Which actually kind of makes, now that I look at it, it makes kind of a cool, like, plus sign in the middle of the map. Range took game one through some solid play. I really actually thought, I want to comment on one aspect of Range's play that I thought was really kind of heads up, is there's a certain stage where he was really not all that concerned with the High Templar drops. And Byaxter was still trying to utilize High Templar drops to try to sneak back into the game, and Range, I believe correctly identified the fact that he did not have to worry at that stage his economic advantage was too too sizable so he didn't really need to to fret about size storm drops from that stage on it looks like we have a double gateway opening here by the way from Byagster. he is going to get first scout but unfortunately with the probe pathing depending on well let's see it kind of came at a weird angle so that might lead range to believe that he's at cross positions let's see where he sends that probe Ranged has opened up seven X core gateway first. Is he going to produce that first that first zealot? The first zealot's very very important in two gate opener and defenses. If you open up to straight dragoon, it can be a big challenge to try to defend. Although he does have a ramp to do it with. Right now, by are just trying to be annoying, disrupt the gas a little bit. Is able to do so a little bit. We do have that initial zealot. Unfortunately for ranged. Here in the initial stages, he is scouting the wrong direction altogether. So he's going to have to go cross position from here. So that was about as slow a scouting pattern as you can get. Well, never mind. He went mid map. So he still might go bottom left at this stage. We'll have to see. Initial zealots chasing down that probe. The first zealot is going undetected. It might be able to get all the way into the main. Probe's taking some damage. That's not negligible. In these engagements a zealot actually so one zealot's going to block the ramp here no no it's not it's just going to go the other zealot's been somewhat delayed so now we got a zealot interior to the base a dragoon a dragoon three force finished ranged is going to be able to scout that but upon seeing that second zealot marching its way across he should have an idea of what he's up against the probe managed to get a kill it's taken out itself and it looks like before this so the zealot able to get a couple kills here that is going to put by extra ahead that's exactly what you want in these sort of two gate openers, but the additional zealots not going to be able to get any additional information to that zealot. It looks like a zealot managed to get a pro kill as well, but at this stage by extras gotten the worker lead, which is what you're looking for off the two gate opener and often and also pocketing that zealot to the 12 o'clock. Very clever. <laughs> but the other advantage behind this is there's not really an opportunity for your opponent to counter and get something accomplished. Second gateway, third gateway drop from ranged. So range presuming that this is going to transition into a gateway opener and wants to roll over his opponent and get a lot of damage done. Fortunately, by Axer with the delayed scout. So let's see if the second Dragoon picks up. Uh, let's see how well range reacts actually to th this. We do have three Zelts in waiting. Two additional Dragoon Dragoons have been produced. This Zealot might be able to march in. This is huge. If he can march in and see. So he's going to see the three gateways in production now. So now Byaxter knows that the follow-up from ranged was heavy troop aggression, and he gets an additional probe on top of it. Everything going right for Byaxter here in the match. Three Zelts now marching out. Byaxter getting aggressive when he doesn't need to, though. So the three Zelts going ahead and pulling back. Byaxter can just drop a third gateway and grab an expansion if he wants. Maybe even go to robotics. It looks like robotics is being dropped from range. Range in a lot of trouble, but oddly enough, Byaxter... Despite having what I, I consider a, a larger army, is not 
taking the low ground outside of his natural expansion and utilizing the worker advantage he knows he has. Maybe just waiting on range because it is in fact delayed. I guess that would be the advantage in, in Dragoons overall, but now ranged pushing up the ramp a little bit. We got four Dragoons up on the high ground. The miss shot doesn't give ranged an event. Right now ranged down a lot of workers. Has that additional gateway. And he's got the robotics facility as well. And right now, Byaxter has had more workers on the ground, but he hasn't transitioned that into uh, an advantage as of yet. Observatory <coughs> plopped down in the background there for ranged. So larger army for Byaxter. More workers. But oddly enough, it looks like ranged, especially with his defensive fan out, might end up with that natural expansion ahead of Byaxer, which is a little bit surprising considering everything that happened in the opener here. Now we got range, or sorry, robotics facility getting dropped. This could be disastrous for Byaxer as well. He's marching into what looks like about an even army at a close reinforcement point on the high ground now that range is finished. And so he's going to take a lot of free shots. One Dragoon completely taken out of that fight and a huge misstep right there. And he's probably going to end up losing his three zealots as well and a scattered fight as he walked out of it and walked back into it. So what was an advantageous situation now turning into disaster because he completely flubbed that engagement. So he's got four Dragoons, two of which are heavily damaged. A lot of a Dragoons, plus the three gate pressure, keep in mind, behind that. Able to press things in. Range doesn't have to worry about Dark Templar. And he's going to be able to deny that natural expansion and potentially get position on the low ground. Looks like he was also... Does he? Is he going for... No, it looks like we have a robotic support bay follow-up for Byaxter. So Byaxer getting the early worker lead, which more often than not turns into a faster Nexus, was trying to, it looks like, turn it into a faster tech lead. Now he's getting a shuttle and potential reaver, but the natural expansion going up earlier for ranged, and that's going to be an opportunity for ranged to equalize things. He's cut workers altogether at this stage. Byaxer's continued to build workers, but right now he's oversaturated on a single base. He's got 32 probes, <coughs> which is not sufficient. So he's just presuming he's going to be able to take this natural. He's going to need that. And usually when you see this, what you'll see is uh, this might be tournament nerves is or rather than the shuttle, just the reaver to push down the ramp to break the natural. That could be an aspect of a lot of the wasn't expecting the flubbed engagement earlier. So maybe potentially by X or having to completely adjust his game plan. Supply capped himself right the second as well. So giving a lot of opportunities for range to get right back into this range has that natural up has a pretty sizable army here on the low ground. The Reaver is just about there, but we do have a vision advantage here for ranged. So on top of that, if range sees that Reaver, is he going to be able to see it though? He sees the, the shuttle. If he keeps an eye here and moves out as soon as that Reaver starts coming into play, he'll still end up with an advantage overall. It looks like he spotted it on the corner. A single Dragoon fanning out to the right for ranged upon spotting that shuttle just to see if it, it looks like two Dragoons trying to make their way out. And ranged holding with that single Dragoon to provide some spotting information. And also trying to get a probe out here to the right to just really diligent with the scouting. And actually ranged poking down is gonna witness the, okay, finds the elevator. He's like, okay, what are you up to there? Looks like you're elevating your troops out. So because of the, the excellent scouting on his part, able to catch the troops offloading here at the six o'clock. So now completely repositioning. He's got his natural expansion up. He's got a Reaver there defensively. Range does need to start building probes back up because he's still sitting at 24 versus the 38, but now gonna go ahead and just back off. Let Byaxter grab his natural, knowing that his natural expansion's up much, much earlier. And despite the probe differential, because he's mining more efficiently based on just pure saturation, he's gonna end up with uh, an economic lead. As far as just pure macro, and it's going to be a while before this Nexus comes online. Range resending that probe out. Looks like he's held the observer to close position. Some good pylons just out in the map to scout things generally. Really good game sense, again, from Ranged, by the way, which has really carried him. It's played ex excellent for him on these maps where he's like, okay, you're not trying to push down the ramp. What are you up to? And just going in, confirming what his opponent is doing holding that high ground again. I don't know if Byaxter is going to face plant into that 
a second time, but that could be disastrous. A quick additional gas as well alongside this nexus. So Bayaxer wanting to get some resources out, going ahead and planting a counter pylon there at the nine o'clock location. The scout potential counterattacks, something along those lines. Range is positioning as though he wants to take a rapid third, potentially. So he's already got a shuttle out. He's got a supply lead. He's still behind in the overall worker count. The workers are going to be able to, to resaturate fairly rapidly. Three gateways of production. We don't see a fourth or additional gateway here. Range currently holding a lot of workers to the forward field. Looks like a probe able to find the bulk of the army as it's scouting forward. And so it's actually even fewer probes out there for ranged. But really calculated with how he's doing this. And it looks like by Axter able to sneak up Range recognizes his army spotted, but fanning out for a potential engagement. The Reavers being moved up just in case. But it looks like Byaxter does want to sneak some sort of attack. He's moving mid-map, but he's not on the 44 workers, which is oversaturated on that second. Hasn't made movements himself to go ahead and grab a third. And Range doing a fantastic job of keeping an eye on... The army positioning so sacrifices a dragoon but knows the entirety of the army positioning here and still holding the high ground trying to fan out let's see if the reavers can get pot shots from above those are huge shots on the dragoons from the high ground so reavers engaging a smaller attack force across that re-engagement re point range refusing to leave the high ground to allow the advantage so off the misfire there and the reavers untouched on both ends but from range's position they're just able to, to assault the close position a lot more efficiently. So just a beautiful engagement from range, wrecking that army. Byaxter is going to have to retreat. He's now down 10 supply, despite having, and keep in mind that's plus workers, range going to go ahead on that engagement wing and grab his fourth at the 12 o'clock location. And right, and Byaxter will be lucky if he doesn't lose his natural expansion. What a great engagement there from ranged. Probe making its way out. I don't know if that's to try to sneak an expansion in the top right. Or if that's just to scout whether a third has been built or not. We have an observer <coughs> latently out in the field. Therefore, Byaxter, but isn't isn't very active as of yet. Byaxter still again with the worker lead, but that's not trans that's not translating into an economic lead because there's just not that's too many probes for what's here. Shuttle speed being upgraded from Byaxter, recognizing maybe some high Templar drops. Or some sort of drops will be, maybe some Reaver drops will be required. He hasn't made any movements to High Templar Tech. He is dropping <clears throat> additional gateways to get to six gateways. He is sneaking that Nexus top right. I don't know if Ranged saw that troop movement sneak out in position. He's going to have that third up much earlier regardless. And he still has that much larger army. The Observer is going to see that base being saturated, but... I don't know that there's a lot that Byaxter can do a lot about it, and to, except for wait for shuttle speed and play from there. Forge up, plus one weapons on the way. Zelt leg speed also being upgraded. We have the similar gateway count. Range is not filled in the infrastructure quite yet to capitalize on that third base. And he also is not spotted top right. So there are opportunities potentially for Byaxter to sneak back into this. So range... Behind in workers, but he's doing a good job of actually having a solid worker count for what can actually be what's utilizable effectively. Hasn't grabbed that third gas, however. Mineral only getting grabbed now as well for Byaxer. A very greedy grab. So wants to make his way up to four bases before ranged is able to go up to four and just hope that ranged does not attack him or deny this base or find top right in the meantime. This could be a excellent comeback mechanic for Byaxter, although supply, so supply counts are even, but that's a smaller army. And with 55, which is a mid late game worker count, if he can get that fourth base up, that will saturate. Keep in mind, he's not, he has to build probes on site top right. Cause if you transfer probes that risks, first of all, detection and also annihilation on there and high Templar starting to be fielded from ranged range, doing a pretty good job of macroing behind everything else. But now Byaxter has that fourth up. He's got the workers to saturate it. He's got two Reavers in between and ranged, despite having some nice upgrades behind all of this, 
Looks like he's going to be a little bit later on plus one. I believe he has Psystorm up already. A probe making its way top right. <coughs> it's going to start. This could be disastrous now. Here's the problem for range, though, is, is, okay, how much do you dedicate top right and risk at other locations? And this actually could be very beneficial for Biagster because as the Zealots are making their way top right and while ranged is distracted, we have a drop making its way into the main. There's only a single cannon there to defend and a lot of workers. <coughs> nice reaction time there by range, though. A near instantaneous pull, but still ends up losing a handful of workers. Retreating to the natural expansion, having trouble getting his troops back in time to respond. Another, and having a bad pull there as well, so losing some additional workers. Another cannon taken out. A few workers killed, not as many as, as could be, but that 12 o'clock location again also only has a cannon to defend. So this is potentially additional dead workers, range having a, a huge amount of difficulty dealing with this. So is losing a good amount of workers here, but at the same time, he is going to be able to take out that top right nexus in the midst of all of this. Question is, is how much damage does Biaxer do to the worker lines? Keep in mind, range was still behind. Ooh, man, getting a lot of shots and range having immense difficulty dealing with this harassment. And that shuttle just now taken out. The Reaver's going to end up on the ground, but man, those Reavers have done immense range down to 34 workers. He did go ahead and grab his fourth, but this is now undersaturated for the bases that he's got. He's got to resaturate the probes he does have on location. Three bases are up for Biaxer. He has a stronger economy, although he's still at a sizable deficit as far as army. This could trigger an all-in for range. If Biaxer can hold it, he will end up victorious. Just in starving, having a stronger economy and starving his opponent out. Keep in mind, on four nexus, that you can pretty rapidly rebuild your worker count. As you can see, that's uh, surged fairly rapidly, but this is still a deficit for range to overcome. High Templar were making their way in. They get caught. They get obliterated. <clears throat> I think that probe might have spotted it on the way, and I'm not sure that range recognized it. Byaxter retreating to that Nexus, recognizing that range has to come to him. Byaxter currently with a 20 supply lead, but 13 of that is in fact in workers. And his ranged... Is Range just going to hold right now? He's not making any movements to engage into his opponent. I don't see any additional shuttles making the way out across the map. <coughs> he does have plus one weapons being upgraded. It looks like he didn't have Psystorm, actually. I think this is Range's mini-map. I might have them reversed. Am I going to catch it in time? Where is it? I did not catch in time. A slew of Dark Templars being built. And another shuttle moving out for Biagster. Not caught on ranged radar once again, so this could be another decimating attack. We do have two cannons this time. <coughs> Reaver gets there in time, uh, but oh, it looks like the Reaver picked up. That could have been a good shot. Range having trouble pulling once again. I'm not sure if this Dragoon was on target fire or if this was just outside of the vision of ranged overall. Ranged pocketing troops all over the place trying to deal with this drop. Now keep in mind, it is, it's two base... Versus three base right this second, but this third base is not saturated. Dragoon's moving there. It looks like range going to move out mid position. He's dropped some cannons. He's going to go ahead and grab top right. So he recognizes he's in a deficit and just wants to try to hold. Four Dark Templar, it looks like I had it in position. Four Dark Templar are making their way top left now. And this is going to be a massive hit for range because all these gateways going to go down and that would have that might be a game winning maneuver we'll have to see high templar moving up for ranged to engage at Biaxter's mineral only beautiful initial size storms and i don't see any counter reavers out here for Biaxter. a beautiful coating initially really thinning Biaxter's troops you can see the supply getting annihilated under the blanketing of initial size storm so range recognizing that it, losing that with that single pile empowering all the gateways, it was do or die time. Pressing in, and he has managed to cripple by Agster. That's going to take out that third base. The main is mined out, which means that leaves by Agster mining at a single base. So despite losing all of these gateways and all of this tech, range not in as terrible a position as he would be otherwise. He's going to have an opportunity to rebuild. He's also taken top right. He's somehow ahead of it in workers, which feels like for the first time in this map, but has struck a crippling blow now. 
It's going to take a minute for Biax to restabilize. And also with the army kind of lately out in the field, Byaxer needs to get something, potentially needs to get something else accomplished. He does still have this Reaver pocketed in between these two bases that our Templar are making the way top right. There are cannons protecting that Nexus. Wondering how efficient this has been for Byaxer overall. So cannon able to take out that shuttle. Dark Templar wiped that as well. Some High Templar moving forward, not able to drop some side storm, but that actually gave four warning to range to go ahead and back the troops out. Six o'clock bases starting to build pro uh, build probes, but they're not mining as of yet. So Biax are still at one base. And in the meantime, rain starting to saturate that mineral only. He's still got his natural at 12 o'clock and he's pretty well saturated top right. So his economy's rolling. So the problem for range now is he's got a solid economy rolling, but he's only got three gateways. Sorry, five gateways to be able to produce, which ironically matches what Byaxter is able to do off the single gateway at his, or the single Nexus active at his natural. So that's like four gateways worth of production right there. Mineral only being reestablished, six o'clock being reestablished. You can see how a lot of these, several of these gateways are ending up only four active at any given time. Cause that's just what Byaxter can manage out of his economy right this second. So if Ranged can go ahead and get some additional gateways down, which it looks like he's going to do top right rather than putting all of his eggs in a single basket. Those drops were costly to him. <coughs> he's done a great job of macroing in the meantime. So he's actually got a sizable army lead. That pylon's blocking bottom right and also is giving forewarning. A single zealot trying to create forward notice to maybe signal a nine o'clock uh, grab for Biagster. Reaver at the 12 o'clock is pocketed and this could turn into a one-two punch. But again, this is, I'm wondering if these drops are now too late in the game, potentially, and not resulting in Byaxter being able to turn things around. So High Templar drop, an immediate reaction from ranged. So they're getting nothing except shuttle damage and a few dead High Templar. The Zealot is trying to take out that pile on bottom right, is triggering thing, but we have that counterattack, but able to get a few probes right here, but the Reaver is now gone and ranged defended well at both locations, very minimal losses. The pylon still stands bottom right. More results trying to march out, <coughs> but they're going to get enveloped by the warm embrace of a, of a Archon. Actually, I wonder if it's cold. It's kind of like, it's supposed to be like psionic energy, I guess. They talk about it, they visualize it as lightning, but it's supposed to be like mental energy, right? So who, who knows, anyway. Shuttle still has a High Templar there to maybe go for a redrop. Another cannon's been dropped top right. Now the gateways are sailing for ranged. He's in a great position to close this out. There were multiple moments where just missed the redrop. Did manage to get a good amount of workers, but I don't think that's going to cover the 60 supply deficit. Natural expansion is now gone, so it's two base production for range. And we got four bases up and running, plus a natural getting grabbed bottom right. Or sorry for Byaxter, flip that, flip that. Range, range is looking healthy economically. Byaxter hasn't been able to transition to the late game. And now at 200 supply, <coughs> range looking to pick a fight. Getting some good, ooh, feedback killing a couple of the High Templar. Is there an observer along this army? I'm not seeing an observer in between, so the Dark Templar might be able to get some damage done. A nice actually engagement for Byaxter, able to wipe out 40 supply just for 10 in turn. And if he can continue getting trades like that, that'll be fantastic. I think the... Oops, a few of those units being pushed back, but the long-term game is still a problem for Byaxter. He still needs to find an opportunity to grab additional territory, either at the 9 o'clock or bottom right. Range, gonna go ahead and lick his wounds, wait for a resupply. Plus three weapons gonna finish earlier for Byaxter. He still does have that dark dark Archon. He's actually done a great job of picking off High Templar. And it looks like some more High Templar making their way out. This just feels like too little too late. Yeah, the concentration... Oh, and it might get caught. Let's see if it gets caught mid-map. Certainly going to get spotted. So it's spotted. Some Dragoons repositioning. A reposition again. Looks like it's gonna, they're going to try to make their way to the 12 o'clock. Is there even... Okay, there are some workers. There's also two cannons right there. 
Looks like it's gonna hold in no man's land. A Nexus trying to get grabbed bottom left. A few Zealots being pushed that direction. That's gonna draw the troops off. We do have the drop now at the 12 o'clock. Actually able to clear the worker line. That's just now evening the worker count. But the problem for Byagster is, is while he was doing all of that, he wasn't establishing cannons here. Zealots just hanging out, telling war stories here. Bottom right. Byagster now starting to group up. This could be a turning point for Byagster. If he's able to encapsulate this army and keep this Nexus up and running, that could be a big victory. A shuttle is spotted. <coughs> Observer also wiped out, but that gives forewarning. And it looks like that natural expansion was in fact wiped out. So range repositioning. He still has a much larger army and actually better upgrades as well. Over his opponent, another shuttle making its way out. But again, these are shuttles that are making their way out to try to do damage and not, not movements towards additional bases. Beautiful size storm. Getting a big pocket of an army right there. <coughs> and some more beautiful size storms. A good feedback on High Templar before they're able to engage. Right now, everything's going in Byaxter's favor. Byaxter also has the uphill advantage right this second. <coughs> but at the same time, that is a lot of Archons. And it looks like range just has too much and too large an upgrade. <coughs> Another drop trying to pick out some of the gateways. <coughs> Excuse me, in the main. But I do not believe that is going to be sufficient. This should be GG. Because range still has a lot of Archons that are very, very healthy now. Pushing into the natural expansion. It looks like some troops have also gone ahead and cleared out. We have one gateway that's unpowered. But there are still other gateways out there and running. That Dark Archon actually has four kills. Good on him. So I'm waiting for the GG. <coughs> There's the GG well played. And with that, in this best of five, ranged is up 2-0 over by Axter. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.